Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking about articulations and the chair is a wonderful place to experiment with that. Um, so we're going to do spine stretch on the chair, but we're going to show it in a couple different ways so you can see um, some differences in how much mobility you can get in the spine with this piece of equipment. So let's do a nice classical spine stretch, hands on. So let's have a nice inhale and on the exhale you're going to start to press down here. Now Jen has some flexible hamstrings, flexible than most, so she can stay nice and elongated through the leg as she curls her spine. Very good. You want to feel like the shoulders are reaching into the hands. Very good. Opening up all of these spaces. But you'll notice there isn't a whole lot of bending through the spine. There's some places like right here that don't like to move so much on Jen. And it might be because her legs are extended and she has to use so much force to press into the spring. So Jen, I'm gonna have you move to the side for just a moment. So what I'm gonna have Jen do now is the same exercise, but seated on a sitting box. So she's elevated. So the spring tension is going to be much different. The force and load is going to be different because she's not having to press it all the way down. And also, guess what? For our tight hamstring people and hips, which is most clients, this is a wonderful place to experiment with this. So find your sitting bones, inhale, and then press down and she gets to dive through and get this beautiful, oh, that looks great, articulation of the spine and feel like your scalp is resting on your forehead. Even better, inhale here, exhale, start to stack back up and let the chair talk to you and help you find your neutral positioning. Very good, let's watch that again, Jen, that was beautiful, inhale. And notice how she can load her sternum right into her arms to find this opening of the back body, back of the head, back of the rib cage, and she can stay pretty much on her sitting bones. And you can even inhale here, exhale, stacking back up. And she's doing all of this without having to gear up in the front of the pelvis hip flexors to find this forward bending. One more, inhale and down. Good. Keep a little bit up on your sitting. Uh-huh. Yep. Now you're talking. That's beautiful. Look at all of this area, this nice uniform curve of the spine. And then coming all the way back up. How did that feel, Jen? I felt great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a big difference when you're you know, not so low to the ground, but then also you're not having to contend with this leg tightness. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you soon.